frontman Chester Bennington has reportedly committed suicide. Bennington has struggled with drug and alcohol addictions at various times. Eric Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is, is dead. To the head. And apparent suicide. Singer Chris Cornell has died at the age of 52. Seven different drugs. Rock star Tom Petty is on top to his own. Joe Petty died of an accidental drug overdose. Scott Weiland, one of rock's most distinctive voices, has died. He struggled with substance abuse throughout his career. Amy Winehouse has been found dead. The singer has had a well-documented problems with drink and drugs. One of those new revelations about Prince's death that he died from an overdose of a popular painkiller. We now know what caused the death of singer Whitney Houston. Houston also had at least five different drugs in her system. A coroner's official said she drowned accidentally. Drugs, uh... Really seep into your life. Uh, you're not really aware of it at first. Don't recommend it really to anybody. Uh, getting in is easy. Getting out is difficult. I uh, overdosed and killed myself for about four minutes. It's basically common sense. Don't get that stuff. Live happy. Being reliant on a substance in order to be able to get up and you know and do anything and to be able to deal with people and to be able to feel comfortable in any given situation, to have to be loaded um, was sort of a crush that I didn't necessarily believe in. I thought it made me um, basically a weaker person. Was killed. I never thought in a million years I was as bad as I was. And that's the thing with drugs. The Jimi Hendrix experience is over. A acid rock musician died today in a London hospital from an overdose of drugs. Elvis had a serious drug problem. The last two years of Elvis' life, it was every day. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, has died. Jackson's death was caused primarily by a powerful anesthetic. Due to Rev Sullivan of Avenged Sevenfold, the drummer's death was ruled accidental. Due to multiple drugs, and Alice in Chains frontman Lane Staley was found dead in his Seattle home on Friday, surrounded by intravenous drug paraphernalia. Now, Paul Gray died from an accidental drug overdose of Morton. Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins, the rock star, had ten different substances in his system at the time of his death on Friday. Janice Joplin, the biggest female rock star of the 60s. She died of a drug overdose. It's clear that Janice was fighting a serious addiction to heroin. It becomes a way for you to kind of spawn, but then it develops into something a lot more destructive. So that would be what I would, you know, kind of caution my younger self about. It's like, take a look around, enjoy it, don't get caught up. And it was a constant fog and a lot of things I can't remember. You know, blackout drinking was, was not good. Uh, getting in fights and all kinds of, you know, a trail of destruction. The, the cliche of that. Well, I had a big affair with drugs. I finally just stopped. I said, stop. Don't do this. Don't do it to yourself. See what you become. Poison the system, but I stopped and walked away from it. I was very fortunate to, to do that. I took drugs, I took drugs like it was going out of fashion. I've got a talent, the God given talent, you know, to give to people. Why don't I want to spoil it for by taking drugs? Drugs are for fools, though. I believe that the people who have done good things on drugs could have done good things without drugs. And I believe that they would have also had the added bonus of their life not falling apart. You know? uh, I think that I think that drugs every time make people let people's lives fall apart. Sometimes it happens gradually, sometimes it happens quickly, but it always happens. If you dedicate every second of every day to being as creative as you can be, you can live a way richer life with more variety of feelings and making other people feel good as well every minute of the day with no drugs. Oh, drugs, I 
says, yes, father's a drug too.